He helped this team get to the playoffs. He gave up the big hit to Stott in game two. That two run triple in the eighth inning. And blew the save. Three outs away from sending the Mets to their first National League Championship Series in nine years. It is Real Muto to lead things off. Defensive subs behind Diaz, the normal defensive rotation in the late game. Quickly 2 and on Real Muto. Bader in center, sliding Taylor to right, Acuna to second, sliding Iglesias to third. Well, if you're the Phillies, this is the time you need your bottom half. You need your bottom half of your order to get going. And all that other stuff will be forgotten if they get going right now. Stott on deck, and then the eight spot. Thompson has multiple guys he could take off the bench. There's a strike, three and one. You cannot have walks, Reno. You cannot have walks. JT Ramuto, if he hits his ball to the Bronx in Yankee Stadium, that's fine. It's 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 four to two. But you cannot have walks to give him hope, especially a leadoff guy. There is a walk to start this ninth inning. And how did they come back for the Met start against the Brewers? They got on base with a walk against Devin Williams. Lead off walk. It has been an up and down year for Edwin Diaz. And his season back from a knee injury he suffered in the World Baseball Classic in 2023. He missed all of the last season. And a third is Iglesias, middle infield, a double play depth. Stott takes ball one. Cody Clemens has grabbed a bat. He represents the tying run on deck for Philadelphia. Stott has got to be patient here, Adam. And now Ryan Stanek has already picked up a baseball in the Mets bullpen. All the Phillies want is to get to the top of the order. Yes. If That's they get it. to the top of the order, the tying run will be at the plate. Three balls and no strikes. Eight pitches. Seven of them out of the zone for Diaz. There's Clemens, who represents the tying run right now. You got to take two here. Your start. You got to make him throw I two take strikes. three. <laughs> three oh. There's one. It didn't have to be. That was a. That wasn't exactly right down the middle either. That's one up the bunch, I guess. Three-one pitch. It is ball four, and the tying run will come to the plate for Philadelphia. Back-to-back -back Diaz walks to start the ninth inning. And immediately, here comes a mound visit. Well, we've seen Hefner come out there and have the magic stick when he had the meeting with game two. Let's see if he can pull the magic out again. Game four. And now Clemens, who has a couple of base hits and an RBI in this series. He's had to come in off the bench a couple of times. The son of the... 11 time All Star, multi time Cy Young Award winner, and two time World Series champion Roger Clemens will pinch hit for Wilson as the time run. He has had some clutch moments this year. That's fans are like. Can we not just have a one, two, three? Clemens hit a game tying home run with two outs in the bottom of the ninth against Washington back in mid May. He's the tying run here with nobody out in the ninth inning. First pitch is a ball, and Diaz just cannot find the zone right now. Nine out of the zone out of the 11 he's tossed. There's a strike. 
And isn't it all fastballs? Have there been any sliders mixed in? It's been all heaters, hasn't it? I think he threw one slider. As a catcher, you're always like, all right, let's throw something else just to make him move his hand around and think about something different. One slider was the walk pitch to Real Muto. That's it. Oof, there was a slider and it missed way inside. And these are some nerve wracking moments for everybody because you, you, you're just not, you're so anticipating winning the game, winning the series. And with every base runner just gets a little tighter, a little bit tighter. Big cut from Clemens, it's two and two. So much more nerve wracking when you're not playing. <laughs> when you're playing, you don't even no notice it. But man, I'm like, oh my goodness. What's the deal with this game? Two and two. Clemens goes down swinging one away. Two and one count on Clemens. He comes back for the strikeout. See the good run on his fastball. When he's locating that, it's so hard to hit. It's got great carry and great run. Very hard to center that up. Here's Marsh. Strike one. Real Muto and Stott each walked. A ball and a strike. Marsh waves and misses one and two. One two pitch. Marsh hits it in the air to center. Bader backing. Two away. And on to third base goes Real Muto. It didn't look like that Real Muto was going to take off initially. He ends up just taking off and sliding into third base. And now runners at the corners with two down. Well, Bader does the right thing. He just throws it to second base. Real Muto thinks he's going to throw it to third, and then he's kind of stuck. So he goes. Doesn't mean anything. Just an interesting position to possibly be in for Real Muto more than anything else. I guess it maybe opens up the hole on the right side, but I can't imagine Alonzo is going to hold the runner over at first. So that kind of takes away that hole. So now the season is on the line. Stott at first, Real Muto at third, and Kyle Schwarber, one of the most prolific playoff home run hitters in the history of this sport, who has never had a hit against Edwin Diaz, 0 for 9 with seven strikeouts, will climb in as the tying run. Runner takes off from first, defensive indifference, Stott is at second, strike one to Schwarber. Well, he's going to make Diaz come in the zone unless he, you know, gets big and tries to hit a homer here. One and one. to Schwarber the 1-1 one, one pitch down the right field line foul and it's one and two one strike away
What a scene in Queens. In a dramatic game four clincher, the first clinching game that these City Field fans have seen the Mets win for a postseason series in the 15 years that this ballpark has been open. They clinch a playoff series at home for the first time in 24 years. And imagine Brandon Nimmo, a heavy heart all weekend. He's heading to the National League Championship Series for the first time. And there's the man of the moment.